Good morning, Tarpins. This is Mrs. Wolcott, your school counselor. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. And um, every Thursday I will be coming to you um, and, you know, discussing with you different topics on different things, pretty much like I do so already when I go into your classroom visits. I know that right now we're in a different situation and our campus is not open. Um, we can't physically go into school. We can't get dropped off by the bus. We can't walk to school because it's closed. Um, but uh, please know there are so many different ways you can get a hold of me. Your teachers um, have um, they have my email. You you have my email too. I posted it on my dojo account. Um, and um, if you let your teachers know, um, I can also uh, get a hold of you by phone. I know that some of you have had a hard time adjusting to this new distance learning platform that we've been doing. Uh, I know some of you are having um, a harder time than others, and please know that it is perfectly normal for you to be experiencing those feelings, those emotions. Actually, in today's lesson, we're gonna explore all those feelings, um, go over some of those feelings, and then at the end of our lesson, we're going to find a way to kind of help you ease some of those emotions because even as adults believe it or not we are going through it all boys and girls this is a whole new journey for all of us this is something we've never done before and um we're all learning together boys and girls like i said our school is closed right now due to the mm -hmm. coronavirus and our main priority is for all our students to be safe. We want all of you along with your families to stay uh, healthy. And so therefore right now we can't go to school. We can't have our normal routine. And because of that, a lot of us are feeling um, all of these different kinds of emotions. So let's take, um, let's take a little look at some of the different emotions that some of you may be feeling. Some of you may be very happy. Some of you may be happy uh, that you guys are uh, getting to wake up a little later. You're going, you're doing all your work in your pajamas, and that's great. I'm glad that you feel happy and that you're not stressed. But not everybody is. Some of us are feeling mad. Some some students, some teachers are mad because they can't have the same routine that they're used to. They're mad. They're they're upset. Some kids are scared because they don't know what's happening. They don't know um, what to think of it all, you know, and um, just know that by not going to school and you guys staying at home and following the rules that our city um, officials are putting in place for us, um, that is called the shelter at home. I don't know if you've heard about it in the news or not, but by us staying at home, we are protecting not just ourselves, boys and girls, but others, our, our relatives, our family members, um, the elderly, and those that are already sick. We don't wanna get them um, to feel worse. Some of you may be sad. Some of you may be sad because you miss your friends, you miss your teachers, um, you miss going to all the different classes um, that you have at school. And um, that's perfectly normal, boys and girls. Some of us might feel start feeling a little tired, you know, of being home and or a bored. little bored because maybe you guys finished all of your work and there's nothing to do except watch TV. Well, boys and girls, there's a lot of things that we can be doing um, to kind of put the negative feelings that we might be experiencing and maybe turn them into something positive. So we're gonna take a look at some of the things that you guys can do at home because you can't really be leaving your house right now. So let's take a look at some of those things that we can do. While you're at home, I do want you to remember this. I want you to stay healthy. We all want you to stay healthy and be safe. So what can you do? Well, keep doing all of the routines that we're used to doing at school. Even, be, even, um, even though you're at home, you can still wash your hands frequently, okay? You can still cover your mouth if you're sneezing or if you're coughing, 
all right? We don't want you guys to get sick. We don't want your family members to get sick. Something else that we do want you to keep in mind while you're at home is that it's okay to play and relax with your family. On a regular basis, we don't have the luxury of having all of this time to spend with our parents and with our siblings, you know, so take some time, play a new game, try a new recipe, uh, do a puzzle, watch the movies, you know, we do want you guys to keep that in mind. Um, while you're at home, I know that we've talked about helping others, even though sometimes we're not asked to do something, parents love it when you guys take initiative and do things on your own. So take some time to do that. Um, something that might help you kind of ease all the emotions that you might be going through is, you know, taking a breather. It's okay to take a breather when you have all the classwork to complete or when you have, you know, a lot of chores. Take a breather and use some positive self-talk. Tell yourself, it's gonna be okay. I can do this. I've got this, I'm getting better, and I'm gonna keep trying. Because believe me, I know as your counselor and I know a lot of your teachers, we're using a lot of positive self-talk. We're taking a lot of time to, you know what? Just breathe, we're gonna get through this, we're learning together, okay? Because this is totally new for us too. Now, some of you are wondering, oh my goodness, Mrs. Wolcott, one of the things that gets me super overwhelmed is keeping up with my schoolwork. Yes, and a lot of the negative emotions comes when you guys start thinking about your schoolwork. But I have two special guests with uh, me today. Our first guest is Miss Isabella Betancourt, and she's gonna share some tips because she's been establishing a really good routine at home, and she wants to share with you what that looks like. Because by her doing that, she says that she started feeling a lot better, and she feels like she's doing a great job, and she has a, a lot of time to do all of the other things that we discussed today. So let's see what Isabella had to say to us today. Hi, my name is Isabella Betancourt. I am a fourth grade student at Gariga Elementary. Every day, I wake up early and check my class dojo or seesaw to see what my teacher's instructions and assignments are. <clears throat> After I know what my instruction and assignments are from either seesaw or class dojo, as I said, <laughs> I need to organize them in my planner. This planner helps me stay organized so that I know what to do, which is now, and what I know what to do, which I, I can don't do, do these things. I don't turn on the TV, I don't play video games, I don't watch YouTube. That's a lot of don'ts, but we need to stay focused. Everything that's going on, I know it's pretty hard to follow your schedules or whatever you're doing, but <coughs> it doesn't Learning. mean you need to learn with everything you know. So if I were you, I suggest that you should follow a schedule, keep yourself organized, and you should also stay focused. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much, Isabella, for sharing all of those tips and great things that you've been doing. I know Isabella has um, a planner and she has a schedule that she has, you know, written down as to what time she's going to do everything. First, she's going to get up, she's going to have some breakfast, then she's going to work on some math and the, the computer program. So um, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And now let's hear from our fifth grader, Miss Evelyn Gonzalez. Hola, hoy voy a enseñar mi rutina. So, lo primero que hago es lavarme los dientes y la cara y me visto. Luego voy al refri y buscar por un nutritivo desayuno. Cuando termino de desayunar, me voy a correr con mi mamá y con mi hermano. Y cuando regresamos, vamos, venimos a comer como familia. Cuando terminamos de desayunar, cuando terminamos de desayunar luego venimos, ah, yo me tomo un descanso y hago mi tarea. Esa es mi rutina. Adiós. Muchas gracias, Evelyn, por compartir con nosotros sobre tu rutina y las cosas que estás haciendo para mantenerte organizada aquí ahorita en la casa. So, muchas gracias. Boys and girls, you heard from our two students um, the importance of having a routine and how by establishing some kind of um, routine or little schedule, you begin to feel a little bit better. So um, this week, I encourage you to try and set something up um, 
to where you know you're gonna wake up at a certain time and get this done first something else done second i will be posting some ideas on my dojo so that you guys can go in there and look um, i'll be sharing some little cards for those of you pre-k kinder first grade you might want to cut out the cards and kind of set them up so that you know what to do first next and last and then for the older grades you guys are old enough to write down the times and write down the schedule that you would like to follow that way boys and girls you begin to feel a little less overwhelmed and a little stressed about all the things that you have to do and that way you can get the things that you have to do done and the things that you want to get done because we can do it we can do all of it we just need to organize ourselves and establish a little routine all right thank you so much for joining me on thoughtful thursday um i hope that you learned something new and please share your ideas with me whatever if you start um your own schedule your own routine share it with me on dojo share it with me on our facebook page or on our twitter all right thank you guys and i hope you guys have a great weekend